friends, uh, I'm here today to talk about uh, development and peace and with me uh, I have Jason Segali who is the interim animator uh, for development peace in uh, Manitoba and northwestern Ontario. So uh, Jason, good morning. Good morning, Monsignor. Who uh, who are we as Development and Peace? Mm -hmm. Can you describe that organization, please? Mm -hmm. For sure. So you may have heard of Development and Peace in your parishes. You might have heard of Development and Peace, whether it might be at your school or you might have seen a poster. Um, but Development and Peace is the social justice organization of the Catholic Church in Canada uh, and member of uh, Caritas Internationalis. Um, and Development and Peace um, was first founded in 1967 and the work of Development and Peace continues on today. Um, the work of Development and Peace is quite large. However, one of the greatest uh, things that we do for Development and Peace is really working for our partners uh, in the Global South, mm. supporting our partners in the Global South. So as Development and Peace, uh, we've worked with, and we still continue to work um, with um, other partner organizations in the Global South, mm -hmm. um, such as in Latin America and Asia, um, in the Middle East and in Africa as well. Mm -hmm. And Development and Peace, uh, we work towards the preferential option for the poor, mm -hmm. um, and as well as working with different uh, grassroots organizations that put in place um, projects that value Catholic social teaching, mm -hmm. uh, such as subdi subsidiarity, mm -hmm. um, the preferential option for the poor, the care for a common home, mm -hmm. the dignity of the human person. And these projects really work um, in order to dismantle oppressive economic, societal, mm -hmm. and governmental systems that oppress them, mm -hmm. all in the spirit of global solidarity. Mm -hmm. Jason, I noticed uh, that this year the the theme, and every year you have have a theme that focuses your your reflection and your education and your action. Um, uh, that the theme this year is planet and people first. Can you talk to me a little bit about what that all encompasses? Mm -hmm. So when we think people on planet first, we really think about the relationship between um, us as human beings, what we do and our impact on the earth and mm -hmm. vice versa. Currently, uh, we live in a global climate crisis, mm -hmm. um, a crisis that includes devastation that's happening to our planet, but as well uh, as to people. Mm -hmm. uh, we're all interconnected and when one part, whether it's the huma humanity, humans, or the earth are suffering, we all suffer in a certain way. So this year we're highlighting the work of um, two countries in the Global okay. South. We're highlighting the work um, from our partners in Honduras and our partners in Cambodia. Mm. And uh, this year when we're focusing on our partners in the Honduras, we're really focusing on the land defenders. Um, the indigenous peoples, the small family farmers um, that really know best as to how they can take care of their land um, and have ownership on their land as well. Many of these people do not have uh, access to their land, have rights to their land. And Development and Peace is really working towards um, helping um, our partners in the Global South um, to be able to give these people the rights that they have to their land. Mm -hmm. So in particular, we'll be working with um, our partners with Caritas Chaluteca. Um, and Caritas Chaluteca will be working with um, communities, will be working with parents, families, catechists in these small communities to be able to educate them and be able to let them become aware of their rights mm -hmm. um, and ownership of their land and to, for them to be able to have um, the right to the land and the policies that they need to mm -hmm. be able to have access to it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the context today is a lot of um, enterprises and organizations are um, unfortunately taking over their land mm -hmm. and these people do not have the voice that they need to mm -hmm. be able to have access to it. Mm -hmm. When we talk about our partners um, in Cambodia, um, we'll be working very closely with Development and Partnership in Action, the DPA. And uh, currently in Cambodia, there is a lot of illegal and legal deforestation. Oh, yeah. And when we think of deforestation, the trees are very much very important when it comes to our environment and very important when it comes to, to people mm -hmm. um, and what we use um, our trees for. Um, so uh, Development, and P Development and Partnership in Action, DPA, is working very closely with the communities in Cambodia to be able to give them the rights 
um, to be able to give them the, the legal um, policies that they need to be able to have ownership over their land. Um, but how does that affect us here in Canada? Canada is home to approximately 75% of the world's mining companies. Mm -hmm. um, and this year, what we're really trying to do um, is to really put pressure on the Canadian government um, to put forward the due diligence law. So what is due diligence? Due diligence is um, the practice of reevaluating and investigating in all of the chain of production of companies to see if there are any human rights violations. How can people contact you? Like, mm -hmm. how, how do they get hold of you to call upon your help or your information? Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, so there are different ways as to how parishioners can become uh, in contact with me. Mm -hmm. um, my information will be shared at the end of this video, so feel free to contact me either by phone number or by email. Our office is located here um, at the Archdiocese of St. Mm -hmm. Boniface, the Archdiocesan Center. Um, so there are many ways as to how you can become involved. Um, one of the different ways that you can become involved is to host a movie night. Um, okay. Development and Peace has a bunch of resources, um, different documentaries, etc., that we can offer and play at your parish um, and to really mobilize parishioners to be there, not only to watch a video, but to be involved with discussions mm -hmm. afterwards. Right. Thank you, Monsignor. So, thank you for your support as well. Um, and thank you for the support of all the, all the parishioners, parish priests, uh, and as, as, well, uh, as well as yours, Your Grace, um, for supporting the work of Development and Peace. And we look forward to this year's launch mm -hmm. of the campaign and looking forward to more activities that Development and Peace will do in the parishes. Okay. Thank you very much, awesome. Jason. Thank you.